In this video, I'm going to show you why you should never use your camera's multimeter for exposure. Let me show you why. Now let's say our nice friend Woody here is a client and you've sat him down in front of the camera and you're getting ready for an interview. Now your meter is telling you that this shot is two stops overexposed. Well let's try and do what our camera wants us to and to get that to sit at zero so this shot is supposedly exposed correctly. Let's start to change the f-stop to suit and see where it lands us. So now we're sitting at zero and sitting at f6.3 and as you can see the image is looking very underexposed so that isn't right. So let's take that back to where we was and I'm going to show you something very interesting. Keep an eye on the meter and watch what happens when I hang a dark background up behind our subject which is what's important in the shot. The meter is now telling us that the shot is correctly exposed but technically we haven't changed any lighting or exposure on what we're actually interested in exposing which is our subject. So a minute ago f6.3 was the correct exposure so let's see what f6.3 looks like on our subject now. Awful. Now this is because what your camera's meter is doing is it's taking the whole image and averaging it out to try and see it at middle grey. So with a black background it's telling us that it's exposed correctly but without changing the subject but changing the background it's essentially confusing the camera because it doesn't know what needs to be exposed correctly in the shot. So what that means is if we wanted to shoot a subject against the white background our camera is always going to think that the shot is overexposed which really it isn't which is why I always 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 just use false colors to get a perfect exposure every time. If you don't know what false colors are and are interested in learning I have another video that I'll link to in the description. I hope this has been some help and I'll see you in the next one.